This is a guide on reinstalling a glass touchscreen digitizer and an LCD on the Apple Retina iPad 4. Just like with the previous versions of iPad, the glass digitizer is glued to the main frame, and a heat gun or a hair dryer is needed for this repair. To begin, make sure the iPad is turned off by holding the power button at the top and confirming the shutdown on screen. Start applying the heat to the perimeter of the iPad. It will take up to two minutes to properly warm up the glue, and the heat gun will be continually used throughout the opening procedure. Once sufficiently warmed up all around, focus on the top edge of the iPad. The best place to begin separating the glass is the top left corner. Insert a corner of the putty knife between the glass digitizer and the plastic liner. Try to keep the plastic liner in place. Most new replacement digitizers ship without it. Once inserted, use the heat gun to keep the edge warm for smoother separation. Continue separation of the top edge and skip the front facing camera area. There is no glue there and we don't want to damage the camera. Move on to the right edge and when possible insert a plastic separator such as a guitar pick in the corner to prevent the glass from getting glued back on. Take extra caution on the bottom edge as the Wi-Fi antenna is very close to the glass. Try to peek inside to make sure that it is separating from the glass and not from the main body. It's best to use prying motion rather than cutting in this step. As well, do not insert the knife further than 5 mm on the bottom edge to ensure no damage is caused to the internal cabling. Once the three edges are separated, insert some plastic separators under the right edge and thoroughly warm up the final left edge. Carefully pry open the glass digitizer as if opening a book. Do not try to separate the digitizer from the body just yet. It needs to be unplugged properly. Most new replacement digitizers ship without the home button and the camera plate. Both will have to be transferred onto the new part. And this is the Wi-Fi antenna which has to stay with the main body. And unlike iPad 2, the upper right corner cabling is now protected by hard shielding, so it is harder to damage when opening. At this point, the LCD panel can be removed. The LCD is mounted with four Phillips screws, one near each corner. Lift the display out by the right edge and stand it on its left edge. Using a pick or a flat screwdriver, open the connector bracket which is located on the opposite side of where the flex cable is inserted. Remove black tape securing the LCD flex cable to the connector and set it aside. Gently pull the displace connector out using both hands and making sure the cable is not slanted when disconnected. It must come out dead straight else damage can be caused to the internal components. Set the display panel aside. Remove black tape securing the digitizer's connector and open two connector brackets. Warm up the home button assembly with a heat gun. Slowly separate the flex cable with the home button assembly from the glass and leave it with the main body. Pick out the actual home button and set it aside. Warm up the camera plate, then gently pry it off the glass, set it aside. At this point, the digitizer can be removed. Briefly warm up the right edge and cut any glue strands that may still be holding the glass to the body. Lift the digitizer out, making sure its cable is not getting caught and the adhesive is separating properly. Gently pull the cable out of the connector and set the digitizer aside. At this point, the new parts can be installed. Take out the new digitizer. As you can see, it comes with pre-cut strips of adhesive. Set the new digitizer on the left and remove any old adhesive left on the main body of the iPad. Reinstall the home button onto the new digitizer. Reinstall the camera plate at the top of the digitizer. Prepare the digitizer cable for reconnection. 
Remove any securing tape and expose the adhesive pads by removing the blue protectors. Remove the inside protective film from the digitizer. Start applying the new adhesive around the perimeter. The new adhesive comes in form of double-sided tape. It's best to separate the adhesive from the sheet with the top protector in place and apply the adhesive where it's needed and lifting the top protector afterwards. Apply all the appropriate pieces and reinstall the home button assembly. Align the digitizer's cable with the socket and gently insert until the white lines are hidden by the connector. Make sure to not slant the cable and be extra precise. Apply slight pressure on the cable to catch the new adhesive. Lock the connector's two brackets and replace the securing black tape. Lift the digitizer up a bit in order to guide its cable into the groove. Apply slight pressure to catch the adhesive. At this point, the LCD can be reinstalled. Give it a quick wipe, stand it on the left edge and carefully insert the cable into the video connector all the way until the white line is covered. Secure the connector bracket and replace the securing black tape. Set the LCD down and replace the four Phillips screws. To make the final result look perfect, inspect the LCD for dust and fingerprints and wipe it off with a clean microfiber cloth. Inspect the digitizer for fingerprints and wipe them off. Align the digitizer with the left edge and slowly close it like a book, ensuring that all the corners line up and that the edge is fitted snugly to the body. Apply firm pressure all around the perimeter to catch the adhesive. You can now test the iPad. Push the power button at the top, and if the Apple logo appears, the installation is successful. Remove the top protective film, and you're done.